what's up guys we're back in the unity editor here um and we are just going to be making some tile palettes today now this step took me forever to work out how to do this because some of the explanations online aren't very good so this is mostly going to be just a tile palette uh thing but i am going to start building the level and i will show you stuff like how to put a collider in so that when our player eventually moves he doesn't go through the floor uh, you need something to make the object solid. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be looking at some, ex just a little bit of experimental art stuff, just building some concepts. All right, let's get into it by first, we're going to have to create a new palette. So if you don't have this window open, you're going to go to window, 2D, tile palette, All right? That should open this window, um, probably in like a pop-out or something like this. Uh, I have it dragged over here because I want it right next to the scene view because we're going to be dragging directly from the scene. So we're going to be firstly creating a new tile palette. But before we do that, I want to, under the platformer set, because this is what we're going to be making the tile palette from, we're going to be creating a folder, new folder, and we're going to be calling it palettes. Now, the reason we're doing this, we've got this, all right, I've got the inspector down here. I'll bring this kind of out so you can see it. Some of you are going to have what looks like this at the bottom of the inspector. Uh, click this to bring it up and then you can drag up and you can see that we've kind of got some art there. Um, I can't really zoom in too much unless I do this. And you can see that this is kind of like the art we're going to be using for building the scene. Now, this isn't all of it. Uh, there is a little bit more in another tile palette, which I can show you. Uh, so I'll drag this off over here, go other decorative. And this is the other uh, segment of the art. So this is like details and stuff. So this is the second one we're going to be running with. So we're going to be looking at main lev build first, right? So this is what's on the palette. This is what it should look like. This is the ordered organized view that some artist, when they created all of this, went and made. And this is how we want to keep it, okay? Uh, which is kind of the important bit here. We want to keep it so that it looks like this inside of our tile palette so that we can easily click and drag the objects here into the scene to build the scenes that we want. So I'm going to drag the inspector into my game view, uh, into my engine, sorry. And then I'm just going to like put it down here because we don't really need the inspector for any of this. Now um, we're going to be using this palettes folder that we created just before, now that I've explained kind of what we're doing. All right, so we're going to create palette, uh, and literally all we're doing is we're going to give this a name. So I'm just going to call it 8-bit, uh, but you could call this 8-bit main palette, or you know what, we'll call it main. We don't have any other art in this game, so it should be fine. And you're going to want to leave all of this alone, because it, the way I've done this uh, works really well with these settings here create it'll open one of these windows and now that we've created palettes we just go in here and we're going to create a folder called main and we're going to select this folder make sure you save it inside of main and then select folder all right so pause we've created our tile palette if we go to palettes all right we double click on that, double click on here. We have this object called main, and that's what we want. Uh, we can go back here and we can create another folder. And we're gonna call this uh, decors or decorations or whatever you want. I use decors because it's shorter. And then we are going to create another palette, okay? So we're gonna have two blank palettes and we're gonna call this decors, right? So we're gonna click create. It'll ask us where we want to save it, and it's automatically selected decors because that's where we were last. Um, like, that's the last thing we've selected down here. So we just go select folder. And you can see down here, decors there, main there. So they're in the right folders. We're happy. We're going to go back to platformer set. Now, this is the bit where we edit the art, okay? So I told you that this is all uh, in, a, in a sheet. Uh, we're going to want to make our inspector larger so that we can see what we're doing. We are going to need the inspector now, but we didn't need it before. So the first thing that we need to know is that this art here is obviously it's multiple things, right? It, it's not just one picture. Uh, so an example of one picture is like this background here. We don't want to separate this at all. 
We don't want to touch this either. All right, so we're just going here and we're going, okay, these are clearly separate. So it makes logical sense that we want to set the sprite mode to multiple. Now the pixels per unit. This one took me a little bit to work out, but apparently all of these are 16 by 16. So we're going to set this to 16. Don't ask me why. I thought it was supposed to be something like 256 or, you know, because 16 squared is something around there. But apparently it's just 16. Yeah, filter mode, we want to set this to point. All right, so point means that the art isn't going to be uh, fuzzy at all. This is something that we're going to need to do with pretty much every single sprite. It, it's better to do it like right away than set it inside the sprite editor. Resize compression. We want to make sure that this is set to none, I believe. And then we're going to click apply. Now this is just going to give us the raw art. It'll look better than if we put compression on. Um, because obviously it changes the file size. And when the file size changes to become smaller, it's holding less information. So the less information means that it looks worse. Now we're going to open the sprite editor. We're going to change, uh, we're going to click on slice. We're going to go to type. We're going to change this to grid by cell size. And then if you remember when we put 16 in before, we need to do the same thing now. So we're going 16 by 16. All right. And then we're going to go slice. Uh, you can tell this worked because if I click off of that and I zoom in, there's now grids everywhere, right? So if I click on in one of these grids, I get a little blue square that appears that tells me I'm doing it right because that means it's, it, it is now its own individual sprite. Now that we've made sure that this entire thing is in a grid, we are happy and we've done it correctly. So we're going to go apply. Uh, what's happening right now is my computer is being told that it needs to save about 1,700 different images here. So it, this is going to take a while to apply. Every single uh, 16 by 16 object that is filled in with some kind of information, some kind of uh, graphical data, is being saved as its own image. So we're going to wait while this finishes. And we're done. Cool. So we can close the sprite editor now. Obviously, if you want to change the layout, you can, but I'm really happy with it right now. So I'm going to close this. I can't see anything else that needs to be touched here with the inspector. So I'm going to go down and do the exact same thing uh, to other and decorative. All right. So we changed it to multiple. We changed this to 16. We changed the compression to none. And we changed the filter mode to point. We clicked apply. And then... We went to the editor, clicked slice, grid by cell size, changed this to 16, we clicked slice, and then we clicked apply. We can close the sprite editor. We're going to want to drag the inspector. I drag it down here, and then I'm going to close the console slightly because I would rather have the project window open. Uh, we're back in the tile palette window uh, for the focus right now, and we're going to go to main. This is a part that is going to take a while to do, so... Maybe you can go clean your house while you're doing this, um, or maybe your computer's faster than mine and you can do this in no time. I don't know. What you want to do is you want to click on down here, and this will show you that the last step worked, by the way. You're going to click and you're going to click the drop down arrow. If you have it kind of uh, this size, then you just click this arrow next to the thing. And it's going to show you that you have all of these little things right and i said 1700 well yeah it's more like closer to 1800 i think decors is a better one to do first because you can make sure that you're doing it right with that all right 509 so this should take like a lot less time all right so i've got it on edit so this shouldn't take too long because it's only doing 500 instead of 1700 that's a whole you know 75% faster ish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're done. It looks like pressing edit is what you need to do. What I ended up doing to begin with was I screwed up the first time and so I had to fix it. So you need to press edit and then drag the things into the scene or otherwise they don't retain their position for some reason. Don't know why. It's weird. I think it might be a bug, but point is we got our palette going like this. If you need any help, ask me down in the comments. I will help you out with that, right? So now we have the decorations, but you'll notice if I try and paint some of these. So let's go to my uh, selection tool here. If I select a bookshelf, 
let's just go with this, right? And I try and paint it in the scene, you'll notice I can't do anything. I can click, I can click, and I can't do anything, and neither can you. So, what you need to do, and this is actually uh, back into the easy area, uh, we don't really need to do too much now, is we go right click, we go to 2D, and we go to tile map. And you'll see that instantly, uh, there's an active tile map put in. So, a tile map is a map that you can paint tiles onto. Pretty much a grid for 2D art, and this new system means that you can speed level design up by a massive amount. So, currently, if I click, I can leave a bookshelf there, and then I can put another one, and another one, and look at that, we've got our own little library starting. Uh, if you right click, you can drag around and put more in the scene. And then if we go over to our game view, you can see that there are our assets, right? Right now, we don't actually want any bookshelves in our scene. I don't, anyway. You might want to leave them there, but I don't. What we want to focus on is we want to go back to the main. Let's just get this done. So, we're going to create a bit of a level. It's going to be a really basic level. We're not going to do too much art right now. You can see that by switching in between the tools. So, if I go to here, I can uh, select, and then I can brush and, and paint in this scene. If I click edit, I can actually move the stuff. Uh, in the scene, so I can have multiple copies of it. That would be helpful if, say, let's take over here, for example, right? We've got a few little wooden bits and pieces. Uh, hold on, let me get rid of this, all right? We've got a few little wooden bits and pieces. If we wanted to, we could take these, go into here, we could edit them. So we could go and maybe change which one we want, yada, yada, yada. Uh, we can also change, if we want to, somehow, the color. I don't know how to do that right now, um, but I'll get back to you on that, because we don't actually want to touch this right now, we just want to use what we have, and we're going to use what we have to create three kind of slightly uh, slightly unique environments. They're not going to be too different from one another, uh, but we just want to make it so that they don't all blend in. We can see how big our camera is right here. Right? Uh, if I click out of this, and I go back to main camera, I'm going to toggle this little box here uh, so that we can turn off the grid and we can see better. So we can see our camera, right? Now, if I turn the grid back on, same box clicking, the grids come back and then I go in and I select, say, this one because I want to. Uh, and I put this here. We go into our game scene and we can see that the bottom of the screen is now taken up by that. We don't want it to fill this narrow, all right? So, you remember how we got two sets of art in the last video? We got the hero and opponents. Uh, what I like to do to make sure that I'm not doing anything stupid is I grab a character model and I put him in the scene and then I try and scale it around him. So, if we look here, we'll see that this guy is really, really, really tiny, right? He's really small. So that's our scene and that's him. That's not the scale that we want. We, we could scale him up and make him bigger, or we could scale the entire scene down. And the way we do that is we go to grid and we go to uh, scale and we go, I usually use 0 0.25, 0 0.25. I think that, that just works for me. Uh, you can have a fiddle. If you use different art assets or anything like that, and you're just using this as a tile map tutorial, then that's fair enough, right? So, now that's kind of screwed us up, so we're going to go back into here and we're going to erase what we had, right? And then we're going to paint underneath him a bit of a level. Uh, and this is going to be, like, really basic.
And as you can see, we now have this really cool effect where we've got a bunch of mountains and stuff in the background. And if you zoom in, the artwork matches kind of the uh, player character that we're using. I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. So what we've done is we've created a scene, we've created a tile palette so we can expand on this scene eventually. Next episode, I'll show you how to turn the tile map that we just made into a collider object, which means that when our player responds to gravity, he won't fall through it. Uh, we'll set that up. I think that'll be it. So thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. I realized I didn't say that with last episode, so make sure you do that for me. If you have any queries, questions, give me a sh uh, give me a shout in the comments and I will be on to you. Thank you and bye bye.